I'm often asked why development is important as a medium and mediumship. And this is because within the mediumistic world, you know, we see varying levels of success with mediumship. Um, I think in the United States, we've had a chance to see mediumship at maybe a lower level of quality. And this is because we don't spend enough time in our development. And we also experience quite a bit of people wanting to get out there really, really fast to start their uh, career, so to speak, as a medium. I can't tell you how many times I experience a student who you know, takes a weekend workshop and then has a podcast and an Instagram and a YouTube video and has merchandise, you know, a week later. And for me, this really tells me that there is something that is really challenging for uh, our, our current state of mediumship. So what do I think are some of the things that might help to improve that um, include taking the time to look at quality mediumship. Having a nice high standard and quality of mediumship um, to create sort of a bar for you is gonna be so important. By seeing sort of the best of the best mediums work, it shows you what's possible within mediumship. If we don't do that, we tend to see sort of mediocre mediumship and think, ah, I can do that. And therefore I don't have to develop anymore. So. Mediumship can be incredibly powerful, amazing, transformative, and evidential. So it's going to be so important for us to give ourselves the time to develop to that level. And that does take time. So we really can't just be taking weekend workshops and then deciding, okay, now I'm going to be a medium and I'm going to be out there. What we should be able to see is not just being able to make a link, that's just a part of the journey, but actually a deeper sense. Mediumship is more than just communicating with spirit. It's about developing the spiritual being that you are. It's about cultivating your inner self. And it's learning how to know when things, what to do when things go right in your mediumship, what to do when things go wrong in your mediumship. And so this is gonna take time. You need to be exposed to multiple different experiences that are going to highlight for you what you can develop. It's also really important um, that when we cultivate our mediumship, we are prepared to work with this very vulnerable population, this, this population that is in grief, that is in pain. And there is this really interesting thing that occurs when we say, I'm a medium or I'm getting this information from some higher space, from some uh, you know higher source, so to speak. People's subconscious really starts to just open up and they end up accepting and receiving whatever it is that you tell them. And because of this sort of bypassing uh, sort of that prefrontal cortex reasoning part of our brain, anything that you say is gonna have a deeper impact than if it was just some Joe Schmo on the street saying something to someone. It automatically starts to go into their subconscious. And so what we say can either do a lot of good or it can do a lot of harm. And so that is a huge responsibility for uh, the medium to make sure that they are ready and capable both internally and externally of how to handle the varying experiences that can happen when dealing with someone in grief and also that they understand what to do when their mediumship might work or might not work. This is such an important part because if someone's already in a sensitive state and then they come to this to the uh, medium looking for some sort of solace to give them hope again, and then the medium's not able to provide that because they were underdeveloped. Um, not only are they not able to provide it, but could potentially cause an even further uh, emotional harm because now the sitter feels like uh, you know, their loved one is still lost to them or lost even further. And so it's such a huge responsibility. We can't go lightly into uh, this, this process. Lastly, I would say it's so important for us to develop that internal spiritual compass. The part of us that cultivates compassion, that cultivates patience, that removes that part of the ego that can be very, very, um, seduced, so to speak, by mediumship. 
because oftentimes in mediumship, you're going to hear people say, wow, you're so amazing. Wow. You changed my life. Wow. You helped me so much. Oh my gosh. That was exactly what I needed. You're so great. And what ends up happening is that for some people, that is a very seductive process. You start to feel like, oh, maybe I am this great person. Maybe I am all of these things. And this is why you see a lot of egoism and um, mediumship. A lot of people think that they're, you know, the cat's meow. And because of that, they um, can treat people in maybe not the best ways, or they can act in a way that I wouldn't really consider a spiritually developed person to be. And this is an ego trap. I and mean, mediumship is very much an ego trap. If you let it, alternatively, if you understand what the heart of mediumship is, you will get such great gifts and joy out of this cultivation. We start to develop more compassion for others. We start to understand our our place in this bigger world uh, beyond just this physical form. We start to understand that the relationship between me and someone else is infinite, that we're actually connected even though it seems like we're not. The world begins to have multi-layered experiences so that it's not just, hey, Michael's going through you know, his day-to-day -day life and this is all we experience. We actually start to understand the nuance and depth and subtlety of every moment, of every place, of every interaction. And so it's so important for us to take the time, the years, honestly, to develop your mediumship so that when you step out into the public arena, you've seen it all, you've experienced it all, and you're ready to handle and experience whatever the spirit world's bringing. You've learned to let go of that ego attachment, and you're ready and present for the person that is really here for that support and that needs that love. Our job is to bring forward messages of healing, messages of love. It's important for us to be ready for that responsibility, and that takes time.